Hi, I'm Leon, the founder of Audio Advice. This video is on the first ever fully automatic turntable from Project Audio. Project Audio launched its first product in 1991, the Project One. This was a very well-designed turntable made to offer outstanding sound for the money with no frills. It was a huge success, which led to their debut series of turntables being introduced in the late 90s. Anyone into great turntables has heard of the name Project, as they have become the best-selling audiophile turntable brand in the world. And what is even more interesting in this day and age of globalization, Project turntables are all completely assembled in their factories in Europe, with Project even sourcing raw materials from local suppliers. The Automat A1 is clearly a unique turntable for Project to introduce. Most audiophiles cringe when they hear the word fully automatic turntable. I have to admit, I thought, what the heck are they doing when I first heard about this new turntable? But after learning from Project as to why they wanted to come out with it, and then finding out how they implemented the automatic system, I got it. Project's goal as a company is to introduce people to the joys of listening to music on a system that sounds great. Like our team at Audio Advice, they are all into vinyl and the fun it can bring and want as many people as possible to experience it. They felt like there was a large group of people who wanted to enjoy vinyl but were just scared of damaging either the fragile stylus or their records. For those of you just getting into vinyl, I should explain what the difference is between a fully automatic turntable and a manual turntable. With a manual turntable, you basically have to push a power button, raise the tone arm up, and move it over to the leading groove of the record, then gently lower it down using the cue lever. When the record ends, you must then use the cue lever to lift it up and move it back to the rest and turn the turntable off. With a fully automatic turntable, you basically just push start and the turntable does the rest, moving the tone arm over, and then lowering it down, and then when the record ends, it picks it up, brings it back, and shuts everything off. Pretty cool. But the disadvantage has been all past automatic turntables have had all this mechanical stuff under the turntable to do that that got in the way and added friction and drag to the tone arm. The new Automat A1 is Project's first turntable using an automatic system that has zero detrimental effect on the sound. One of the most impressive parts about this turntable is the fact that except for the Denmark-made Ortofon cartridge, it's 100% assembled in Germany with 99% of the components used either made in their factory or sourced from local companies. While the Automat A1 does not have the same fine watch-like fit and finish as Project's higher-end turntables, it is extremely well put together for its costs with some components you typically only see on more expensive turntables. The big feature of the Automat A1 is, of course, the fact it's fully automatic. The technology project pulled from their vast knowledge of turntables, along with the zero interference Automat system, is what makes it really impressive. Let's take a look at some of the great technology in the A1. Project developed some tech for better damping feet for their new Evo turntables in 2021. Damping feet help keep external vibrations out of the turntable, which can degrade the sound, especially when you crank up the volume. The version of the feet for the Automat A1 uses silicon layer to decouple the turntable from the surface it's sitting on. The plinth that holds the turntable parts is another important component of a turntable. In the A1, it's made from MDF panels glued together to reduce resonance. It's a basic black but nicely finished. The platter is really cool and gets some trickle down tech from the bigger project tables. It's a German made aluminum piece that has a special damping ring installed around the perimeter to both reduce resonance and improve speed stability with a better flywheel effect. The great part is each and every platter is individually balanced and tuned to deliver very low wow and flutter. That's something you normally only see on more expensive turntables. The belt drive motor system is isolated from the platter bearing to again reduce noise and resonance. Moving on to the tone arm, it's an 8.3 inch low mass aluminum design. The head shell is made from a carbon fiber reinforced polymer. Project chose the Ortofon OM10 moving magnet cartridge, which is a very good value cartridge. I also like the fact you could later upgrade it when you go to replace the stylus by going with the stylus for the OM20 cartridge. This particular series of cartridges were designed for low mast arms just like we have on the A1. Now here's the part where Project leans towards ease of use over future upgradability. Everything on the tone arm is fixed. There's no way to adjust tracking force, tone arm height, or anti-skate. It's made to go with the Ortofon OM series. The big plus of this is the A1 is totally plug and play with no adjustments needed for setup. The con, of course, is you have to stick with OM cartridges, but in my opinion, this was the right choice for an entry-level turntable like this as it just makes things so simple to set up and install. 
I was super impressed when I looked at the back and saw Project chose their connected e-cables for the leads. I expected a basic set of cables here, but these are purpose-made cables just for turntables that cost about $60 separately and are great cables. The Automat A1 also has a built-in phono preamp you can turn on with a switch located under the platter. It comes with this Engage, which means you could connect the A1 to powered speakers or an amp that does not have a phono preamp. I think the A1 will be very popular with some of our great powered speakers as a simple, easy to use vinyl rig. We did a video on the best speakers to pair with the turntable, which you might find interesting that's linked in the description. To operate the A1, you simply choose 33 or 45 and push start. The platter will start spinning, the automat mechanism will engage and move the tone arm over the record, then lower it. The great part is, right after the arm drops, the automat system is completely disengaged. When the record ends, the automat system kicks back in and safely returns the arm to its rest. Should you wish to raise or lower the tone arm manually, there's a cue lever and there's also a stop lever that will bring the arm back and shut things down. All in all, a great system that makes playing vinyl a piece of cake. Unpacking and setting up the Automat A1 was just as easy as Project told us it would be. Basically, all you have to do is remove a protective piece or two, connect to power, and connect to your amper speakers, stake the stylus guard off, and push play. I also discovered that A1 can be used as a semi-automatic turntable as well. When you move the turn arm over, the platter automatically starts spinning, and it'll still lift it up and shut it off at the end of the record. Being the critical audiophile I am, I had to play around with the tone arm bearings and see how well damped the platter was, but the, and it was actually pretty good, but that's not really what the Automat A1 is about. From the first record I played, I could instantly tell the A1 is a real turntable, capable of pulling out the sound from vinyl I know and love. The thing that struck me the most was how right it got rhythm and pacing, which I think has a lot to do with the way they balance that platter. I was literally tapping my toes to an automatic turntable. That's a definite first. To see how well it was isolated from acoustic feedback, I cranked things up using some large full range speakers and never had a trace of feedback. That's pretty impressive. I've always felt Ortofon cartridges were good performers for the money, and it's no surprise Project chose the OM10 for this model. It tracks really well, and it's able to pull out those tiny little musical details from the record grooves. I played some complex vocal tracks and the A1 was able to reveal those subtle harmonics I knew were there. I suspect some people would be compelled to compare the Automat A1 to Project's other turntables in roughly the same price category, like the debut Evo. In my mind, there's no comparison. The Evo is hands down a better turntable in all aspects. But if you want an automatic turntable to take all the worries away, the Evo will never be that turntable. In the end, my assessment is the Automat A1 just does not do anything wrong. It lets the music flow through with that ease you expect from a good turntable while being fun to listen to and a pleasure to use. I'm 100% convinced Project accomplished exactly what they set out to do with the A1, getting more people to experience the joy of vinyl. If you've been thinking about jumping into vinyl but have been worried about not having the skill set to set up or use a manual turntable, the Automat A1 is the answer you've been looking for. You'll be able to hear what draws people to the sound of vinyl while starting to grow your record collection. However, Project and other good turntable companies make manual turntables that are better performers. If you're not worried about your skills, please stick with a manual turntable choice. I have a feeling many people who start out with A1 will realize a turntable is nothing to be scared of and will eventually get a better manual turntable. But for anyone who is scared of a turntable, the Automat A1 will make you fearless. All right, hopefully you've enjoyed our overview of the Project Automat A1. If you have any questions at all, just give us a call, chat with us on audioadvice.com, or stop into one of our award-winning showrooms. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and also check out the playlist section on our YouTube channel to easily find all of the content you're looking for. We'll see you next time.